Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here talking to you guys over a little bit of a how to Twitch video, guys. Today's video is going to be teaching you how to add Plug DJ to your guys' live stream. So this is actually a pretty common question that I've been getting by a lot of people. Uh, how do you add Plug DJ support to your live streams? And uh, one of the main things that people are asking about is how to add Plug DJ support to your live streams so that you guys can actually add add the, the song to be viewable in your live streams. I'm gonna show two different ways. One is the old way I used to use Plug DJ and one will be the new way, guys. So it's actually kind of cool. So anyway, uh, first thing is first, what you guys are gonna have to do is you guys are gonna have to open up a new uh, window for for your your Google Chrome so I could I could open up this one but that one's gonna have all the comments from my last one as you guys can see there boom but uh, anyway for this what we're going to do is you guys are gonna want to go to plug DJ so the first thing that you guys are gonna have to do is you guys have to go to plug DJ.com and you guys are going to have to actually have to make an account so in my case I already made an account you guys can log in with Twitter Google Plus even just make one with your email and you have all these various things here uh, then after you guys do that you guys are gonna have to actually make a channel or you guys can use a previous Previously existing channel in our case we are going to use MC Warside uh, for our plug DJ making sure that the audio is off so they don't get pulled off YouTube here so we're gonna mute it before it actually starts as you guys can see here um, we have this going right now we see you know somebody's using it's qual MC is using it we got nine people in here uh, and uh, this is going just fine so I'm gonna join you know this waitlist I can use it just like a normal plug DJ so one of the things that you guys are gonna have to do is you guys are going to have to uh, or the easiest way to get this done is you guys are going to have to make a application shortcut window for this through Chrome and the way you guys are gonna go about doing that is go to the top right hand corner hit this uh, little settings button you're gonna go down to tools uh, so you guys are gonna have to find more tools right here and create application shortcut when you click that it's gonna pop up with this MC Warside plug DJ you guys are getting just check uh, desktop or if you want to pin it start start bar you can I have already done this once you hit create it's going to pop this guy into a little window like this so as you guys can see there's no there's no little bar anymore it's just this guy and it's actually going to give us a uh, little um, a little application shortcut here so say we were to want to start streaming boom we click this guy and it opens up immediately the next Next thing that you guys are going to do so this is this is the size that I like to keep my plug DJs at this size and oh my damn oh my goodness I do not want to get copyright strikes so let's mute that again uh, so pretty much uh, this is the size I like to keep them because we are going to need to make a screen region of this so once you guys have gotten to this step pretty much you guys are going to need to make sure that what is viewable uh, is at least this at least this is viewable on your plug DJ because you guys are gonna need to make a screen region of this and how are you guys gonna do that well you guys are gonna have to go here so whoa we did not want to do that uh, so once you guys get your OBS out what you guys are gonna be able to do is right click add and you guys might want to make this a global source so you might want to actually uh, go to your global sources and add a new one for us we're just going to make this a temporary source here so you guys are going to want to do a window capture so you guys are going to want to do a window capture not a monitor capture a window capture because this might al not always be your top window so this is going to be called uh, plug uh, DJ test like so so plug dj test and what's what it's going to do is it's going to open up this little window you want to refresh make sure this is open at the time of using this and you guys are going to have to pick one of these things so you know we're not picking skype we're not picking um you know the team speak instead we're going to pick the mc warside dash plug dj and then from that we're actually going to select a sub region select that sub region so as you guys can see boom it gives us these little things to select what we want here so we can actually go here we're actually going to go about uh going down here we're going to make sure that we select the borders that we want I don't want to have this area in there I don't want to have that I don't want to have this area over here I just want it to be that and uh, then you guys can hit OK boom and now you guys will see this on screen as you guys can see it's gonna be in the top right hand corner here uh, and then from there you guys can actually edit it and you can make it you know larger smaller that sort of thing whatever you guys would like to do and I wish I could wish I didn't do that so I can actually continue making it smaller but uh, anyway, so sorry about that. Looks like we will need to um, let's make this a little bit bigger just so that we can do this, make it a little bit smaller there. The next thing, so that's the, that's the old way I used to use uh, Plug DJ, guys, was just have that there and then put a little border around it. One of the things, the new things that I want to start doing is using this color key option. So if you guys are you know, watching my streams after I post this video, you guys will notice that there's actually going to be a new type of color key uh, that I'm going to be using with this. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to color key out 
this text here and I'm actually going to reduce the similarity that's going to allow to color this stuff out so because I'm gonna be doing that and you know changing the blending a little bit um, and what so forth so forth and whatnot so here we go let's let's size this up a little bit just so that we can actually see what this is actually going to look like as you guys can see now you're just going to see the text and then behind this I'm going to place you know another object so you guys are seeing you know a really big uh, thing right here but you guys can play with this of course so you know even less of it so you have more of a border there to you know define it or you guys can do even more so you just have the text and I really like that sort of streamlined look of it I like the idea of having just the text so I guess that's just you know me just an aesthetic thing you guys can also turn up blending to get rid of that border even more as you guys see and uh, I guess it's just an aesthetic thing something that I like but as you guys can see it kind of does look in my opinion a little bit better just to have sort of the text there and you can put your own border behind it and all that but uh, anyway guys hopefully you did kind of enjoy this how-to twitch video if you guys did remember to slam that like button down below subscribe to join the nation if you already haven't and check out the playlist of all the other how to twitch videos I show you guys how to do a ton of different stuff like how to actually use how to make stream overlays and how to make notifications and how to use you know nightbot and how to do all that sort of stuff if you guys have any other suggestions for things make sure you guys throw them in a comment down below uh, and I will make sure I make a video demoing how to do these things and also if you guys add this as a global source you can add them to whatever different scenes that you guys would like and all that sort of stuff so anyway Again, hopefully you did enjoy. I'm the doctor, and I am out. Bye, guys.